Hey guys, welcome to another video. I work the night shifts, right? Right now, it's 10 p.m. Um, it's a week from when I started deployment, so it's the 8th of April. I work from 1900 to 07, uh, 0700. Even though you work nights, right? Everybody has to clean for an hour in the morning. So my day kind of looks like this. Coming in at 1830-ish, do any turnover from the day shift, you know, whatever work that wasn't finished, they need to tell me. And then 1900 is our turnover. And then uh, we have our final meeting as a, as a division, as a group. And then after that, uh, I work my normal shift up until 07 and 0715, we have divisional quarters. So right now, I work with a group of people, but the whole division, you know, it's roughly about like 30, 40 people uh, get together for a quarters uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And then after that, at 0730, we clean for an hour. So I really get off at 0830. Uh, on Mondays, we clean for two hours because on Sundays, we don't clean at all, So, but we have to make up for it. Um, so really, I'm working, you know, like a 14, 15 hour day, uh, which kind of sucks. Like I said before, this is my mini little office. Uh, we just use it as like a storage locker. Um, so right here is the Korean kimchi rice noodles. And then I'm also going to top it off with some rice and uh, black bean curry. My, my noodles been sitting out for a while, so I got to eat it now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit puffy. But you know what? It's still better than the ship food, I tell you that. But like the beginning, like the first five days of the deployment, I've had this um, sickness. My voice was very, very messed up. Like you heard it from before in my first video, um, but it got a lot worse. Like I completely lost my voice. Uh, now I'm, I'm a lot better. I've been, you know, medicated like nonstop. The medicine they gave me, Sudafed, ibuprofen, guaifitsin. I have no clue how to say that. Cough drop for my throat. That little locker right there is mine. That's about that's about three feet high and about two feet in. Uh, but I actually have a big chest. All my food is in there. Uh, I got some books here. Brought some civilian clothes because even though you're in the military, you still have dress code uh, whenever you go to different countries. Rice. Put the black bean curry sauce. No one else on the ship, I guarantee you, uh, went as crazy as I did when it comes to food. One thing I don't cheap out on is freaking food, guys. That looks delicious. Enough of that, let's talk about my deployment so far. It's been seven days, right? So working nights, it has its ups and downs. Right? It sucks because during the day, a lot of things happen. All the activities like karaoke, a dance competition, talent shows, uh, and, and you know, that card magic, the card game night. It all happens at night when I work, right? And when the day shift is off. I don't really get to attend to those stuff because I have to work. But there are some activities where night check people, you know, I could ask my chief and say like, hey, you know, can I attend these? I can't do it as freely and as, as much as I want. If I work days, you know, I'd be outside recording, you know, all the cool stuff that we do around the ship. But after I get off work, man, I'm just too tired. Right now, I'm just too hungry to fall asleep. Oof. Guys, you don't, oh my gosh. For Korean people, those of you Koreans and Asians watching this that know exactly what I'm eating, it's black bean curry. Um, it's delicious, guys. So this meal itself, right? So this is like a seven, eight dollar meal. Ten dollars, let's say, round up with taxes. But one thing that's really, that sucks about working nights is the food. So during the day, right, Breakfast is same, right? Breakfast for me is dinner because it's at the end of the day. Breakfast is breakfast, you know, scrambled eggs, and I'll show you guys later on. Um, 
It's like scrambled eggs, uh, bacon, sausage, omelet, and all that kind of stuff. But the biggest problem that I have with the, this ship, and it frustrates the crap out of me, is two things. Number one, the waiting, right? For I don't know why, the, the cooks on this ship, the higher ups, the chiefs and stuff for cooks, they just can't seem to figure out or, or fathom that it takes so long to eat food and it's ridiculous and that shouldn't be the case. And that might be because they never really stand in line. They just, you know, they're cooks and they're chiefs. They just get the food right away. They never really have to wait for anything. Prime example, yesterday, right at night, right about 30% of the crew works. You know, in a ship of 6,000 people, uh, that's what, like about, let's say about 1,000 people. They opened up one line right for a thousand people to eat and maybe a thousand is too much maybe let's let's say about 600 <sighs> guys you don't have you have no idea how frustrating that is right it took me one hour to eat it took me one hour of wait to eat food in a 12 hour work night that's close to 10 percent as you know like eight nine percent but I'm losing a lot of productivity there. The cooks just cannot figure out, hey, let's, we have four lines, let's at least open up two, right? So we can divide it up instead of an hour away, you know, that's 30 minutes. And we let them know too, everybody complains all the time, but they, I think they just, they just do it out of spite to piss off people. Next thing that it frustrates the crap out of me is they serve breakfast for mid racks for night, that midnight, midnight, which is lunch for me, which is, is by term called mid rats, uh, eating at right about 12 o'clock. They serve breakfast at midnight for mid rats. So, so think with me, right? You eat dinner, right, which is my breakfast, and then you eat breakfast for mid rats, and then you eat breakfast for breakfast, right? And I have to do that for seven months, 30 days, let's say, round up, you know, 30 days for easy numbers each month. I'm not gonna eat breakfast for 210 days, twice a day, right? And so many people complain. I understand why they do it. The, you know, when they serve breakfast at min, uh, min rats, the less they have to do for breakfast, right? So it's easier on them, but it sucks for everybody else. They just can't understand that, I don't know.